What's going on, Coach? Hey, real quick, can anyone stop Alabama's offense? We're going to get into it starting right now. What's going on? Hey, listen, I really enjoy watching Alabama. I know they're the evil uh, empire and all of that in college football. They make the SEC uh, fans really, really aggressive and kind of annoying. But you cannot deny, ever since Lane Kiffin got there, that it's been unbelievable. It's been unstoppable. They're now in the 21st century doing some stuff that is unbelievable. And I want to go over three things that I noticed talking about or watching them against the Ole Miss offense. All right. So here we go. Let's get into it. Y'all know what you like. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up because it lets me know to keep doing more of these. And let's get to the PowerPoint presentation, guys. That's that's what I like to do. Who can stop Alabama? Because I really, honestly, do not believe anyone can stop Alabama. They are ungodly in all of that. But first, hey, I've got to tell this to uh, X and O Digital. I'm going to get copy striked for this. But I don't care because I want everyone to know how good Alabama's offense is. But I know those mofos are going to come in here and they are going to copyright strike me. They're going to slap me down and they can suck a fat one. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. All right. Very first one, Nick Saban. A lot of people don't give Nick Saban enough credit. Why? Because he saw the change, the shift in what offenses were doing, and he decided to go all in. He did that with Lane Kiffin first, then Stark, and now with uh, O'Brien right now. And those offenses are building upon one another, which is unbelievable. And if you go back and if you start listening to any interviews for the past two to three years, Saban talks about how you need to do this, you have to do it. All right. And a couple of things. This is what people are forgetting. Nick brought, I'm talking to him like I'm first names with him, but he brought this offense in. He went out, hired the guys that he needed, and told them, This is what I want. You create the offense, but this is my vision for the offense. And it happened. All right. He said you need to score more points to win uh, if you want to win. He actually said that in an interview that it's not a defensive league anymore. You're trying to outscore your opponent. That puts a little bit of doubt into those defensive coaches, those wing T coaches and stuff like that that were like, hey, you need to run the wing T to control the ball. No, uh, the evil <laughs> Nick Saban is like, no, you need to score points if you want to win championships. And he has proven that over and over again. And the last time, I don't know if y'all saw this, but on Monday night, uh, football with the Mannings, he was on there talking about how he doesn't understand why people run huddles now. He likes the hurry up. He likes the spread, the check with me's, all of that, because now you are getting an advantage for the offense, which, it, you know, if you went back 10 years ago, he was he was trying to create a rule that said that you couldn't go uh, hurry up anymore because it's hurting players' health and safety, and he's done a complete 180, and now he's like, no, I want to go as fast as possible for as long as possible. So that's great. All right. So the very first play they ran that stood out to me, and all of these plays that I'm picking out, these are plays that you can put into your own offense. I know some things uh, Alabama does. They have the players, their studs and all that, and you can't do. But these plays right here, these three plays that I picked out, and stay to the end to the last one because it is freaking unbelievable, and we should use more of it. But these are things you can install into your offense right now and use regardless of talent level. Okay, so the very first one is two back, and this is a play off of the tight end uh, uh, arrow route. Usually you have a tight end here that goes across, but now you're putting it in the backfield, and this is what is happening, okay? So you read the end, the end crashes, or if there's space, you just pull and throw, and I have an example of this right now. All right, so, so here we go. We have got three by one. All right, what I mean, the two back, they're playing the uh, tight, the four eyes. I hate that. I hate the mint front and all of that. But what they're going to do is they're going to run inside zone here, and they're going to bring this guy into the flat. And as you can see, this is very simple. Look, you got two for two. He makes three. He's keying this guy. He's in no man's land. He decides to throw it to the flat. And that is something that you can put into your offense right now. It doesn't matter what kind of offense. you. If you use the two-back set, with the fly motion and stuff like that, like I teach and I have a course on, you can implement this in the one-formation offense, where that's what I call it, the two-back, and you can go across, and you can do that, and you can have success, which is a very good thing to have. And it's kind of unstoppable. All right, the next one. 
This is my favorite one right here. They did it in the, in the second half. They caught them off guard. Is the unbalanced RPO. They went quads. And what they didn't realize is this man right here cannot get the ball. He's ineligible. But they ran him on a bubble, which is unbelievable because it pulled people out. They ran inside zone, but they ran this guy on a lock, turning out the backside in and making it look like it was a pass protection. This sucked in the linebacker, which gave this hole, this grass area right here for a Nice, easy pitch and catch. Again, I mean, this is unbelievable. Look, so you have unbalance. One, two, three, four. This is a corner. They're still in a too high structure. Knowing good and well, this man right here cannot go in for a block. They have a slant, then he's running to this void. You see this grass right here? Right there. Watch the play design. This is just straight up inside zone with a lock, and he is inserting right here. His eyes are on this guy. He is flat-footed, this linebacker right here. He steps up. Look at this. Any quarterback, if you have a decent quarterback and you want to rep this, can run this and make this throw. This is a simple pitch and catch. What is this safety doing right here? The safety has nobody. They caught them in a misalignment because this safety should be in the middle of the field because there's no passing threat right here. He is still outside the hash with no passer. So this is what makes this so wide open. Again, this is something that you can implement in your offense right away and see results because all you're doing is just shifting everybody to the left. And I know most of y'all are running some form of inside zone. You just lock the backside and boom, there you have it. Now, the last thing is bunch passes. They did a lot of bunch passes in this offense, okay? And what I like about this, and I'm going to draw it up, you can take your three-by-ones, whatever three-by-one passes that you have. Let's say it's four verts. Let's say it's corner. Let's say it's stick. Let's say you have drags. You have any of your three-man concepts, and all you have to do is just bunch them together, and this will allow you to get your – you got pick routes off of this. You confuse them because a lot of defenses really don't see the bunch routes, and they do – they really don't know what to do. Okay, and that is the crazy thing. And I'm going to bring it up real quick. They did these things all night, the bunch concept all night. And you can do several different things. This is just a standard flood concept for what they did. And look how wide open this pass is. So, again, if you have any of your three-man uh, routes, and I'm going to bring up a whiteboard for this. Look, this is the beautiful thing. Look at the point, man, right? The point man usually, this is what usually happens. If you release him inside, now these two have to communicate. How often do you think those two guys communicate? So now it's one-on-one. -on -one. He could, at a high school level, you can just pop this thing out right here and just tell your quarterback, hey, you throw that until they never stop it. So let's, let's say you put your best receiver right here, and then you just slip him to the flat. Boom, catch, turn, throw. That's it. That's all you have to do. But now... You have this, opens it up. It pries everything open, and it makes an easy concept for your guy to run. All right? And I'm going to bring up the whiteboard. Hey, but uh, real quick before I do that, guys, I wrote a book. It's on Amazon. All right? It's 99 cents for the Kindle. There's a link in the description below. If you get the book, all you have to do, click get the book, email me, the receipt, you got a free course with it. 99 cent, I put it on Amazon because I freaking love y'all and I really love the 80-20 principle and I want y'all to uh, see it and that's the easiest way for Amazon to do it. All right, so back to this. We have bunch. Let's just say this is your best receiver. You can run a corner concept out of this right here and bang it to the flat. I know that Andrew Coverdale's book, that's what he did a lot and you just tell the quarterback, hey, you catch turn and throw that right there you could run stick out of this where he now runs the y runs the stick the r runs the vert and you're still at the flat you still change things up my favorite point oh goodness my favorite thing let's move this over some all right let's move this down is you can also run four verts and i've run this a couple of times four verts and let's say this is the hash you can do some pretty cool things with four verts right here out a bunch you could say hey you go this way so you're still the same landmark. Now you come up the hash and you go up the numbers. 
Or you could say, hey, you go here the normal way and you go this way. But I like the pick action, especially if you're playing against teams that go man-to-man, which Ole Miss was trying to do a little bit. It's unbelievable. You can also have your Y cross right here. We run it with a, uh, a post over top. You can do a lot of things. You can do your mesh. You can do your stick wheel. You can just have him here, and he runs a post. He runs a wheel, and the back right here is out, so you still have stick wheel. You have a lot of things that you can do out of the bunch for uh, offense, and all it is is you can just call your three-by-one, say bunch, run your same three-by-one concepts. It's freaking unbelievable. I hope that you've got some stuff off of this, and I appreciate you being here. Uh, Dane, I will do Coastal next week just for you, buddy, just for you. Please don't laugh at me when I get the plays wrong, but I will break them down. Chuck, I just I don't think anybody can uh, beat Alabama. I'm sorry. I don't think that. Miami, how are you doing, sir? So, again, get the book. Hey, right here you can get the hard copy on Amazon, everything like that. It's in the link below. I hope you all have a great uh, night. And until next time, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun. I will see you all later.